What's up, people? My name is Mike. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different, and it's because I'm sick of making sad videos. Um, in a lot of my other videos, I just talk about the negative experiences that I've had in my life, but I'm no longer in the same space in life that I was at those times. And I think it's important to show you that I've moved past that. If you've seen my self-improvement guide, then I mean, you know how important gratitude is. And while I do practice gratitude every single day, every single day in my life, I haven't actually shown that on camera. So today I wanna to do some gratitude journaling so that you can get an idea as to how it works. I'm gonna be doing it verbally, so I'm not gonna be writing anything down, but you get the idea. The reason I do this is so that I can start actively practicing gratitude. You know, gratitude isn't something that came naturally to me for a long time. You know, I, I talk about my darkest moments. It's difficult to feel gratitude. It's difficult to allow yourself to think positively when you're in those kinds of spaces. So this is something that you need to practice. This is something that you need to build up because it won't come naturally to you if you weren't surrounded by it. But practicing gratitude is important because you need to be able to see the positives in the world around you and you need to be able to find the silver lining in even the most negative experiences that you've gone through. That's how you can start to move past those things. By practicing gratitude, you'll drastically improve your own mental health. And with improved mental health, everything else in your life will improve. So this is extremely important. So for this video, I have a list written down. I have 21 different things that I'm grateful for and I wanna share that with you today. First thing is, I'm grateful for being able to drive my parents' car when I was in kindergarten. Uh, it may have been a terrible experience for my parents. Um, they always tell me stories about how they almost had heart attacks, but for me, it was my very first taste of rebellion. So I'm grateful for when our family would go shopping at the fruit market. Um, I would always fall asleep in the car ride home, and I remember most of the time, I would wake up and I'd just be inside the house. You know, like my parents would carry me from the car into the house. Those kinds of moments, those kinds of memories just make me feel so comfortable and really remind me of the best times. I'm grateful for being raised with mixed cultures. You know, I was raised with Chinese culture, Belizean culture, Garifuna, and American culture, all in one household. You know, my very first video I talk about not belonging, it may be hard to feel like you're at home somewhere, but it also makes it a lot easier for me to connect with new people. I'm grateful for my dad. You know, he's the best soccer coach I ever had. Um, he taught me the importance of hard work as well as how to be a leader. Um, and even though I stopped playing soccer recently, the lessons that I learned on the pitch, I don't think those will ever leave me. I'm grateful for my father for believing in me when nobody else did. Uh, in my senior year of high school, I was very close to not graduating and he sat me down and he told me that I was gonna graduate whether I liked it or not. And he held me accountable you know, he pulled me away from video games and got me to do the work. Really got me to do the work. And I was able to graduate with the rest of my class because of him. I'm grateful for all the awful teachers I had. You know who you are. Um, without which my current personality and drive for success in life may not have ever developed. You know, being told I can't do things all the time, being told I wasn't good enough or that I wasn't smart enough, that made me want to prove people wrong. And I might be spiteful, but drives me forward. I'm grateful for when we uh, came home from vacation and the roof of our house had burned down. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but there was literally snow falling into my bedroom and it felt like something out of a movie. I was so excited to be able to go to school and tell all my friends about this brand new adventure that I was going through. I'm grateful for my first girlfriend who cheated on me with my best friend. Um, she taught me the importance of respecting myself and speaking my mind, truly. I'm grateful for both of my parents for always putting on a brave face and always saying that things would be fine and that we'd get through the situation, even when I could tell that they were struggling. It takes a lot to do that. I'm grateful for the barbecues you used to throw at our house on the south side. And honestly, to this day, I still don't think I've had food as good as the ribs we used to cook on that grill in the backyard. I'm grateful to my older siblings for always coming up with snack ideas when we'd have movie nights. Um, grapefruit stuff, sushi, and salsa will always hold a very special place in my heart and I appreciate that. Uh, I'm grateful to my stepmom for always making herself available to us and she's always ready to greet us with a warm smile or a hug after the end of a long day. I'm grateful to my stepdad for giving me perspective on my life and showing me how spoiled and blessed that I really am. 
I'm grateful to my grandma who was always quick to stay up late with me and watch terrible Chuck Norris films um, and was even quicker to threaten me with a spoon whenever I walked into her kitchen. <laughs> I'm grateful to my old cat who I named Hobbs for teaching me at a very young age that I'm deathly allergic to cats. I'm grateful to my friends who've always been there to listen to me whine and complain about my life <laughs> um, and for giving me an escape whenever I needed to just get away from my struggles. I'm grateful to our old beaten down house in the south side of Chicago. As broken down and rat infested as that place was, there are memories that I formed there that I'll never let go of. I'm grateful for the random flooding that used to happen at our place in Evanston. Um, we were kids, we didn't know better. We used to talk about how the water was probably infested with syphilis. And I remember I accidentally stepped in the water once and so everyone said that I had syphilis pants. We didn't know what it meant. It was just, it was a funny word to us at the time. Uh, I'm grateful to my older siblings for convincing me that it was completely normal to drink cherry ginger ale with cereal instead of just using milk. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> um, I'm grateful for my parents' divorce. It forced us all to grow really quickly and it created strong bonds between us. To this day, there's not anything that I wouldn't do for my family. And finally, I'm grateful for every single struggle that I've faced up until this point. As of today, I've never felt more excited about what my future will look like. And all of my life's experiences so far have led me here, to this very moment. So there's 21 things I'm grateful for. If you want to know more about gratitude journaling, let me know. I mean, I'd be more than happy to make a video about it. It's, it's really pretty simple, but I'm telling you, the effects of it, you may not see them right away, but once you do start seeing them, it's like a snowball effect. You start seeing gratitude everywhere. You start feeling gratitude for everything. And it's really, really powerful. With all that being said, I mean, I'm on my own self-improvement journey, so if you want to follow along with that and learn what I learned along the way, feel free to hit subscribe. I uh, appreciate the time that you took today and until next time.